What's up guys, Taikino22 here, and uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the introduction that you just saw, the typing text. Now, I wasn't exactly pleased with how that turned out, um, the speed of it and whatnot, and basically I, I made that in like 30 minutes, and it took about 10 minutes to render, which sucks, but um, it's basically as much time as you spend on it, making sure it's lined up with the sound to make it a lot better and whatnot but I'm gonna be showing you guys the basis of it so you you kind of know how to do it yourself but first before I play the video that you already saw I want you to go down in the description check out my 100 for 100 video uh, you guys will really um, really enjoy that I hope and um, if you don't have time to watch it as usual just click the subscribe button and whenever whenever the time comes which will be August the 15th of this year you guys will see um, you, okay, my girlfriend's calling me. Um, you guys will be, um, holy crap. One second, guys. Let me train a thought. Oh, my gosh. I got to take this call. Hold on a second. One second. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, this is uh, my girlfriend right here. And uh, let me just get you guys away from this stuff. And you're not reading my, my messages to her. And I just got off the phone with her. And now we're going to be continuing this tutorial. Um, sorry for the interruption. Uh, she didn't know that I was recording. But, okay, so where we were at was you checking out my 100 for 100 video. It's down there in the description. So I would really appreciate it if you guys took a look at that and um, whatnot. So, let's just get into the tutorial because I'm jumbled now. What we're going to go ahead and do is play the video of what you'll be creating. <laughs> Okay, so I left the little black there with the sound carrying over for my um, the intro introduction to my tutorials, and that's why I did that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of this, and we're just going to jump straight in. It's a rather simple. I already rendered mine and whatnot, so let me just kind of show you guys what, what the deal is. What you're going to want to do is I just inserted one text, which when I redo it, my actual introduction, not the one that you guys saw just there or the one you'll see in the, see in the beginning, I'll actually split up my um, I'll split up a couple letters so it gives more of a more of a look here. Now, uh, just go ahead and start out with a brand new uh, page. Here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is enter a solid gradient or a picture. I prefer the gradient; I think it looks better. But a lot of people what they'll do is they'll put up a search bar or something. But I'm just bringing you a straight gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Media Generators, click Solid Color or bad uh, color gradient now I'm gonna grab this elliptical white to black circle and just drag it in then what I'm gonna do is when this thing loads I always have this so hi Jessica wait one second let me just pause it okay I'm sorry guys everybody wants to talk to me right now alright so once your color gradient comes up Click on the two here. Well, this is just to get what I did. Click on the two in the color dropper, and I just click in the slider area, which kind of will give it more of a, a rounder effect. But see, that's still not enough. Just make sure you drag the two all the way out to the corner. And as you guys can kind of see, it makes that kind of like a cool color. Looks kind of nice and professional. But um, I'm going to cut it in half again just because it's too dark for me. Then once I get it here, um, this part didn't really matter. You could have had a picture. You could have done any of these cool gradients or, or anything else like that. The ellipse is also pretty cool. Um, then what you want to do is go ahead and right-click down here and click Insert Video Track. And you're going to insert your text. Now, I'm just going to be showing you how to do a couple letters typing. And, uh, yeah, this is really easy, just so if you guys didn't get that. All you're going to do is go over here into your video effects and go not your video effects your media generators click tiles and titles and text and drag this tech 
text sample down into the new media generator thing just like this it's not responding guys so um, we might have to have another pause break okay once the sample text is in there the default text you pull down um, what you're going to want to do is click up here to this time thing that says animate and if you guys don't know how to insert keyframes uh, you might want to learn pretty quick to do this because all this is is keyframing so let's just say I wanted to say hold on let me grab my keyboard um, let's just say I want this to say hello okay and uh, make sure you keep it all at the same or it's going to look extremely weird and um, we'll just stick with a a cool burgundy kind of color here okay so just keep it all the same here and um, let's just say I want to say hello so first things first I like to have this blinking option of this thing here and then click on and then click off and click on and click off I like to do that so what I'm gonna do is insert a keyframe with it in then I'm gonna go over probably about half of the one tick from the regular tick here I can't really describe that and then I'm gonna scroll down here well where it'll say oh crap my my bars in the way let me just scoot that over um, down here it's gonna say the plus button you just click that and what that's gonna do is give you another keyframe right where this white bar is okay so the new keyframe will add I don't know what it is my computer sometimes when it gets running Camtasia and these other programs it just dies and has heart attacks alright so that new keyframe is inserted now click on the red dot down here backspace and make it not noticeable now if you notice that this one on here on the screen didn't change that's because right now the start position is at zero and so at zero this one's on so if I click back over here notice that ooh, yeah notice that that thing pops pops back up I click right here it's gone so I'm going to just click about the same length again because uh, it blinks a couple times and then I'm just going to flip it back on by read pushing this button also if you didn't know what this this line is called click shift and above the enter key and that's how you get this cool line alright then I'm going to do a little bit closer in the keyframe again and it's going to just stay like that and I'm just going to change it to H like that then I'm going to go probably about just a length away insert another one and add an E and basically um, basically you just do this the entire time try to keep them about the same length um, in some spots but then to give it a faster effect you'll want to get it closer and then farther away and whatnot so let me just add another one in hello and um, just keep in mind I, I'm not very good with telling this time and the time that's on the clip and that's my weakness so I'm gonna go down here now and then put an O hello so now if you just go back through and click on all of them just to make sure that there's no mistake hell hell he huh did I do that one twice Ah, you see, I did that one twice. It's a good thing I checked. Because this one's a line, blank, line. Alright, so what I'll go ahead and do is just delete this keyframe. Or right click this keyframe. And I don't, I haven't figured out how to delete them. Alright, we'll just pull it out over here. And we'll add in a, a weird thing in there. And I'll pull that about right here pull that right here it's just kind of spacing it's going to give it a different kind of look All right. Bing. and then for this one we'll just add in a hello with with a smiley face so let's try that is it gonna it's not even typing anything else come on now come on okay you know what 
I can't delete it, so we'll just leave it. Now if I go back out of this, I'm just going to go ahead and take my uh, my thing down to draft and quarter so it won't maybe die. And then, it's, I don't know if it's going to play or not. It'll blink. Come back. Then the letters will start typing. Right? Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do, because I didn't know how to fix that last part, I'm going to shrink it down. Now, you guys are probably wondering, wow, that was really slow. What you'll do is you'll click Control, and you see the little squiggly line that came over? It says Time Stretch. Just pull that down. Now, if I click on it, and it plays, okay, it's loading. We'll let the, the computer load here. Oh, wait. There we go. Play it. You'll notice. Come on. Hold on. Let me make it even faster, guys. You'll notice that it moves even faster. Now, I know it doesn't look like that, but that's just because my computer is having trouble but yeah so yeah that's really that's really the tutorial guys <laughs> I know it was kind of a dumb tutorial but it's the best way to make the typing in Sony Vegas and uh,